Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Dubai, depending on your location. Please join in this struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share our videos. The update for this Thursday. Why will certain the kind of free judge? That's according to one of the three member panel of justices of the appeal court that set the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Unindu Mazinamdekano, free of all the free velos, free velos on the land that was. Charges preferred against him by the federal government. The federal government said it is a treasonable felony that Unindu has committed. Now, the retired judge, Oludo Trun Adefope Okoje, made this known during a validatory court section organized in her honor by the court in Lagos. That's the judge has retired now. That's the point. And so in this validatory section organized in her honor, she made a statement. Let me quote part of her statement. I quote now. The judiciary is the last hope of this country and must not allow itself to be influenced by any consideration other than to do justice in all matter. It must live up to its duty to protect the people and to deliver justice to the deserving. In, in doing this, it must be insulated from politics and must, where necessary, be bold enough to call the executive to all that. I restate an injunction I expressed in the judgment in the case of Namde versus Federal Republic of Nigeria in appeal number CA-ABJ slash CR slash C25 slash 2022 delivered on 13th october 2022 in which i was privileged to write that the leading to write the leading judgment that the courts must never shy away from calling the executive to order when they resort to acts of executive lawlessness the duty of the courts is to maintain a balance between ensuring that law and order is obeyed and the protection of the individual from oppressive actions by the executive. I stand by this position. No authority must be allowed to go against its own domestic laws and international laws to perpetrate any act against its citizens. End of quote. Now you have seen the statement of this George. We commend this woman. Yes, we appreciate her. This is the kind of people that Nigerians need in public service to hold public authority. Okay? Look at what she said, very salient. He said that the, 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 the judiciary must be insulated from what? Politics. Must be insulated from politics. They should not meddle in act of politicking and partisan politics. Not just by joining a political party, but by allowing themselves to be influenced by political by political actors. That's what this woman is saying. But what is happening in this country? They are into politicking. Not that they are in, in one political party or that. It's even better that, that they register themselves in a political party that Nigerians will know that this lawyer is now a political party member. But they will allow themselves to be influenced by these people with money and other consideration. So, she said the executive must be bold enough to do what? To call the executive arm of government to order. That is the doctrine of separation of powers and checks and balances. You have to check the executive. You are meant to check the executive. But that role has been, you know, relinquished. It has been forsaken by this judiciary. Okay, so the woman said she's standing on that judgment she delivered. She will not waver or budge, or she will be swayed in any way. Okay, she wrote the, the, the leading judgment. That's what she said. She said the courts must never shy away from calling the executive order when they resort to acts of executive lawlessness, and that is what we, we, we we're seeing now. Executive lawlessness, where you go to a country that is not your own, you lobby them, you bribe them, they abduct someone who is a citizen of another country, like Britain. You abduct him from there, torture him for seven days, 
or more than that. And then you extraordinarily dishon him. While in on transit, you still torture him. You clamped him inside the detention facility and still torturing him. And the court of competent judicial said he should go. You still kept him in detention. What is that? What is that? We are talking of what they have done from Kenya to Nigeria. In regarding Mazin Amdekano. And that one is Abra that one is Abrakatabra and the executive ras ras uh, rascality because uh, up until this moment the federal government has not come up to tell us how they brought Mazin Amdekano to Nigeria. They have been asked by the court, tell us, let us know how you brought him back. Malami is just, you know, you know, you know confusing himself. Okay? So they were tired George. Is telling his colleagues or her colleagues still in service how to operate as a judge yes so she said look no authority must be allowed to go against its own domestic laws and international laws to perpetrate any act against its citizens what are we not saying today you know the government has negated their own law a word of the international treaty protocols they entered into, are they obeying it? No way. So, and when you say it, oh, they say you are against the state. Who is against the state if not them? We want to plunge the country into abyss. Any trouble that is happening in any part of this country, the executive arm of government is 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 to be is, is responsible for it. The politicians is responsible for it. Political actors. They are responsible for it. They are responsible for it. Because you are negating your own laws. That is the covenant that binds Nigerians together, the constitution. And that gives you the power to rule or to govern. So when you negate it, you call for anarchy. Simple. When you abandon it, you call for chaos. When you will, will, will get it to the background, you are calling for war that is what they are doing that is what government is doing in nigeria so we once again appreciate the judge for speaking truth to power when it matters when duty calls she didn't shy away she stood her ground and delivered that leading but famous judgment of 13th october 2022 so that is the kind of materials that this country needs to advance to the next level of governance and leadership. Come democracy, not this kind of people we are seeing today in the Supreme Court. You see, so that is it. Appreciation goes to him, goes to her. This woman, she's a wonderful woman indeed. Yes, we will continue to appreciate her even as she retires. Justice, Oludotun, Adefope, Okoje, we appreciate you deeply.